One of the most stunning natural phenomena in our solar system has a perennial nemesis, the British weather. Dr. John Taylor has an elegant solution to a cloudy view, though. Watch the eclipse above the clouds. He invited Sky News along for the ride. We took off from Stornoway in Scotland under stormy skies, but above the clouds the view was uninterrupted. And we headed out over the Atlantic Ocean towards Iceland. Dr. Taylor was the inventor of the thermostat that controls the electric kettle. The click it makes when yours is boiled is down to him. At 78 years old, he is still a keen pilot. Uh, you'll see the uh, side of the moon cutting into the sun. Um, the sun is pretty well straight behind us, but when we turn, um, it'll be pretty well on our wingtip. So, getting close. Time to put glasses on. Time to put the glasses on. Yeah. Okay. The darkness came on fast. The plane was in the shadow of the moon. United 993, Shanning. Go and as quickly as it had descended, the dark lifted. We're now heading back, we're in the bright sunshine. This was what it was like before the eclipse started. The totality and the shadow just came brushing so quickly, 1,700 miles an hour, and you're engulfed in it, and then it moves on. It's really quite ominous, but now the eclipse is still going on. The moon is still in front of the sun. If you put your glass on, it's just in front of us. And when you put your glasses on, it's the clearest view. It's the most extraordinary, beautiful sight I've ever seen. Two and a half hours after takeoff, we came into Edinburgh Airport. You're 78 years old. I can't imagine there are many other 78 year olds who are flying, let alone flying during a total eclipse. Well, you've got to have some fun in life. That's, uh, that's my motto. And uh, if you keep active, you keep active. Dr. Taylor started making preparations for his next slightly less spectacular flight. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Edinburgh.